A while back ago, I was asked for advice on getting out the friend zone. Now I, just like almost every other guy, has been in a position where I liked a friend and it wasn't mutual. But the thing is, I never put myself in this inescapable zone where I was a friend that had feelings because in my mind, and this is where most people get confused, if I got feelings for someone, we're not platonic friends. Like, I am no longer just your friend. You're either a platonic friend or you're not. There's no in-between. And since the feelings weren't mutual, I distanced myself from the person at the time. Because why would I linger around you or orbit around you pretending to be a friend when I know that I'm not and you know that I'm not because I got these feelings. And you gotta make it clear too, like, yo, I'm not your friend right now, don't treat me like one. Again, it's cool that it's not mutual, no one owes you reciprocity, but if these feelings are still there, we are not friends. Cause my interactions and conversations with you will never be platonic as long as those feelings are there. Whether that's me being more nice, more engaging, whatever. And a lot of people, a lot of girls try to ignore this aspect because they like the attention they get from their orbiters. So in their mind, they think you can still be a friend and have feelings for them, which is beyond stupid. And this is where the quote unquote friend zone actually becomes a thing. It's not just catching feelings for someone who's your friend and the feelings not being mutual, but staying around afterwards acting and pretending like your friends. That's what the friend zone is, that's what the problem is. And also side note, keep in mind when you actually do tell someone how you feel, understand that's basically playing all the cards that you have. And this part is just my opinion, but when you do at least have relative confidence that there's at least something there. And it shouldn't be that hard to tell. Cause a lot of people, my fellow simps in particular, want to confess their feelings as some Hail Mary attempt at making something happen. Cause they're either desperate or impatient. And by the way, this almost never works, so yeah, just keep that in mind. So many guys fall victim to this and get depressed afterwards. You gotta play your cards at the right time, especially if you don't got much to work with. It's kinda like deuces, I'll only play my best hand when I can almost see a path to victory. But yeah, if you stick around after unreciprocated feelings, you're going to become an emasculated, neutered lapdog. And yo, too many people do this because they just can't distance themselves. It's weak and you're just making yourself more and more unattractive to that person. That's the worst part about it is that it's something you can completely control, being in the friend zone. If you linger around hoping you can change their mind by acting like a friend, you are literally creating this zone and actively choosing to put yourself in it. You get out the quote unquote friend zone by quite literally taking yourself out the friend zone. If you have feelings, you aren't and can't be a friend. If you think otherwise, you're wrong. Now you might be asking why and it's because they're mutually exclusive. If you have feelings, all your interactions will be mixed with your feelings of attraction. Whether that's stressing better around them, being extra nice, being extra attentive, responding when they text you immediately, and always filtering your thoughts and the things you say so you never get them upset, that's not friendship. And that's why you distance yourself so you're not in this position. And that's actually a major reason guys still stick around and act like they can be friends after having unreciprocated feelings for a quote unquote friend is that they secretly think they can change their mind and strike when there's an opening. And then they get mad when the opening's not there, when they're the ones choosing to stick around. Listen, you'll never change someone's mind, especially a quote unquote friend who already didn't reciprocate feelings in the first place. I mean, especially if you're sticking around as a friend, that makes you less and less attractive and lowers your value. You can't just stick around and be super nice and attentive and think that one day she'll magically wake up thinking about how great of a person you are and fall in love. I don't know, like some bullshit rom-com. Remember, there's a difference between being kind and genuine and being a bitch. The key is always self-respect. It's a delicate balance between being nice and also standing your ground on who you are as a person, your beliefs, and your morals, etc. I mean, that's how you gain respect in general. If you're just agreeable and nod your head all the time, she and other people in general won't respect you. And if she doesn't respect you, you can pretty much forget about any possibility of being with them in the future. No person, no girl especially, wants a guy that they don't respect. That's just the honest truth. You gotta keep distance until the feelings subside. I mean, you can't control your feelings for that friend, but you can control your proximity, the role you play, and your interactions. And bro, I never understood guys that have feelings for a girl and sit around listening to her guy problems. Like, you gotta make it clear and let the chips fall where they may. Doing that is literally creating the friend zone for yourself and then choosing to put yourself in that zone. It's like, it's like trying to be one of her girlfriends, because that's what girls talk about with each other, guy problems. And girls like this aren't trustworthy either, because let's say you're with her, right? Let's say you guys are dating in a relationship. I mean, who do you think she's gonna be talking to when you guys have problems? Other guys, and pro, I could never, I wish someone would. Now, if you wanna know how to get the feelings to reciprocate, that's a little bit more challenging. Not impossible, but definitely more challenging. For me personally, I just move on, cause changing someone's perception of you is probably one of the hardest things. See, a lot of people we meet initially, they go into two categories in our mind, almost automatically based on first impressions, for the most part. The first is someone you find attractive and that you would date, and the second is that someone you would never date but be relative friends with at the most. This goes for guys and girls. If it's someone you find attractive, they go in the first category, and if it's someone you're not attracted to whatsoever, they go into purgatory. I mean, what you pretty much have to do is change their initial or current perception of you. Obviously harder said than done. 
I mean, human beings are complex, but also extremely simple at the same time. First, you gotta understand exclusivity value. Pretty self-explanatory, the more exclusive something is or someone is, the more desirable it becomes. People want what they can't have. If everyone had designer brands and Lamborghinis, no one would want those things anymore. And the exact same thing goes for people and attraction. And even though, to be honest, this is a reality that I'm not a fan of, it's 100% true. Because when you're more desirable to other people, they're going to take notice of you and you become more high value in their eyes just because other people gravitate towards you. I think in the situation where the feelings aren't mutual or if she's indifferent to you having feelings, you already shot yourself in the foot because now you become accessible to her whenever she wants. And she knows that, therefore making you less attractive to her. Of course, this only goes for unreciprocated feelings. So to quantify, if you were at 50-50 before, after the feelings aren't reciprocated, you probably drop to around 10-15%. to there has to be some sort of push-pull dynamic. It can't be one-sided. You see, when we like someone or when we have feelings, this goes for guys and girls. You will either consciously or subconsciously make it extremely obvious. Bro, people who say they can't tell when someone's got feelings, nine times out of 10 are bullshitting, especially girls. Listen, I don't know everything, but what I know for sure is that they have some sort of sixth sense when it comes to guys coming onto them. And if they pretend like they don't know, it's because they like the attention and want to keep it ambiguous because one, they don't reciprocate the feelings, but two, they want to keep that attention. I'll give you an example. Let's say you get feelings for your friend, right? You watch a bunch of YouTube videos and Google how to tell your friends you got feelings for them. You finally muster up the courage to go tell them and they only see you as a friend. You're depressed, whatever, etc, etc. Whether you want to get over them afterwards or still hope you can change their mind, you have to distance yourself afterwards no matter what. And it's even more important you distance yourself if you still want to pursue them in the future. You're not changing her perception of you by just sticking around pretending to be a friend or being her lapdog. No girl, and I repeat, no girl wants a guy like this. That's only making you less and less attractive and valuable in her mind. And it's probably gonna make you more and more mad and unhappy because deep down you obviously want more. You gotta create distance and work on yourself away from that person. You gotta stop being a friend because again, you're not one when you have feelings. And by the way, why would you wanna stay around being her friend if that's not what you truly want? If you don't wanna be a friend, don't act like one. And if you do just wanna be a friend, then just be a friend. There's so many situations like this and otherwise it'll be in this weird gray area where both of you are pretending and she low-key enjoys it and she finally comes to you and say, let's talk about us to stroke her ego. You gotta go work on yourself in every aspect, physically, mentally, and be on your grind. And since you've distanced yourself and improved yourself, this does three things if you ever decide to give it another run. The first thing it does is your perception in her mind has changed because you're not a needy little orbiter in her world where she dumped baggage on anymore. You have more exclusivity value. You're not listening to her every problem and answering her every text immediately because you distance yourself. Second is that even if you still have feelings, it's not from the same perspective or position you were in as that friend before. And the third is that it levels the playing ground. You're no longer that second category in her mind. And if you still feel the way you do, which you might not after bettering yourself and distance, then you can test the waters again from a different position. Not as a guy in the quote unquote friend zone, but as a better version of yourself. And when you change your lifestyle as a whole, you'll feel better energy and you probably won't feel the same or as strongly. But if you do still have feelings, this can work to your advantage. Remember, people want what they can't have. Just don't be needy, be straight up, speak with your chest, walk with your head up. And I guess at the end of the day, just try not to dwell too much on one person. Yo, sometimes it just is what it is. You'll move on and find someone else you're into. Anyways, I wish you guys all the best, especially my fellow simps out there. And if you liked the video, leave a like, comment, or sub. And with that said, make sure you guys stay true. And I'll talk to you guys real soon.